This is North Korea. The buildings you see are merely a facade, built to disguise the ugly truth that lies beyond. The North Korean dictatorship led by the Kim family remains one of the most oppressive totalitarian regimes on earth. The country is crippled by poverty. Food is rationed out by the government according to social status, leaving 25% of North Korean children chronically malnourished. By monopolizing the flow of information to its people, the North Korean regime has thrived. The less their people know of the outside world, the better. Park Sang-hak, the leader of Fighters for a Free North Korea, is looking to change that. Fighters for a Free North Korea is a group consisting largely of North Korean defectors. Over a decade ago, Park made the decision to escape his homeland and has been fighting to liberate his people ever since. Park and his team devised to create a strategy to hack the Kim regime's stranglehold of information. The defectors pack helium weather balloons full of DVDs, USBs, transistor radios, and hundreds of thousands of pro-democracy leaflets. When the winds are right, the balloons are released. They travel up into the sky and are carried north across the 38th parallel of the Korean Peninsula. Corrosive acid acts as a timer to detonate the balloons over North Korea releasing the most dangerous threat to the regime's stranglehold. Truth. Each balloon carries 20,000 leaflets that detail the human rights violations of the North Korean government. The DVDs contain television shows and movies, providing the North Koreans a stark contrast to their daily reality and a window to the outside. The USBs contain Korean versions of Wikipedia, and the radios deliver uncensored information and messages to the outside world. Thanks to the efforts of activists like Park Sang Hak, North Koreans are beginning to realize the truth. Now is the time to fight the North Korean government with information. They have weapons, we have ideas. Ideas will win. Hello, as you just saw in the video right now, my name is Park Sang Hak, and I am doing activism in North Korea by sending uh, balloons uh, containing messages of truth and reality into North Korea. I want to extend my deepest gratitude and appreciation to the students uh, here at University of Colorado Boulder and all the students groups involved with this and also the people involved with Human Rights Foundation for inviting me to this uh, great uh, institution of learning. Uh, even in Seoul, I knew that the Rocky Mountains was very famous, so uh, this morning I got up early and I actually hiked uh, nearby for two hours and it was a great uh, fun to be able to enjoy this great nature, so thank you. And the city I grew up in North Korea, Hezan in Yanggang province, uh, was very similar to what I uh, saw here in the Rocky Mountains. So uh, it was very uh, great for me to enjoy the scenery of the Rocky Mountains here. And the university I attended in North Korea, the Kim Chek University of Technology in Pyongyang, is considered the most prestigious and the best school in uh, North Korea. However, compared to the University of Colorado Boulder here, uh, it is nothing compared to this great school here. And not so much the building or the physical aspect of the uh, two schools, but seeing the faces of the students here, the expressions of freedom, that is perhaps uh, the greatest thing that I can see. In North Korea, starting from an early age, I received a great amount of anti-American propaganda education. When we were taught arithmetic, we weren't taught what is 5 plus 5. We were instead taught from 10 American uh, soldiers. If we killed 5 American uh, soldiers, how many would be left? And that way, we were taught how to add and subtract by uh, the, uh, propagandizing uh, the situation with the Americans. And we were also taught that Americans were uh, wolves in the sense that uh, American missionaries a long time ago in North Korea the uh, story goes that this one particular missionary had caught a North Korean child stealing an apple and the child was uh, bound and uh, had uh, the word thief written on his forehead and as such uh, these stories were taught to us of how Americans were wolves and Americans were evil. So North Korea uh, in many ways they uh, control the information uh, the lack of information that goes into North Korea through violence, through uh, the uh, control of information that goes into uh, the country.
And my father was involved with uh, anti-South Korean operations uh, for the Workers' Party of North Korea. It was called the 35th uh, Bureau. And in 1987, uh, the infamous uh, bombing of the Korean airline flight uh, featuring, uh, 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 committed by the well-known spy, Kim Hyun-hee. That whole operation was uh, something that my father was very involved with. However, despite that, despite being involved with anti-South Korean operations, my father realized that the regime, the country, could not uh, continue like this, and he did not want to be a part of the future of North Korea. So in 1999, um, I, along with my mother and my uh, siblings, my brother, we escaped North Korea via the Amnok River in 1999. And I uh, was taught in North Korea that South Korea was a colony of the United States, but when I arrived in South Korea, I saw how thoroughly that Kim Il-sung and Kim Jong-il had fooled and brainwashed the people of North Korea into believing uh, such things. I saw firsthand through my own eyes uh, the reality when I landed in South Korea. And in North Korea, there is what is called guilt by association. So after our family escaped, my father's brother, so my uncle, was executed. And so for the first three years after I resettled in South Korea, I lived a quiet life. But once I found out about the execution of my uncle, I decided that I could not stay quiet, that I must do something to confront this sort of regime. So I decided that I needed to send messages of truth and reality into North Korea to the people of North Korea, and that is why I started the balloon launches into North Korea. And what the regime fears the most in North Korea is truth, reality. And the North Korean regime, because of the work that I do, they have threatened me many times with assassinations and threats. In 2011, the North Korean government sent an assassin to uh, kill me in South Korea. But what this shows is that even despite threats and intimidations, um, the North Korean regime cannot stop the efforts of people like me and others to try to reach the 24 million people of North Korea with messages of truth and reality. And for us 25,000 North Korean defectors who are living in South Korea, it is a calling for us to continue this effort and this work of sending the message of truth into North Korea. And after me, there are other excellent speakers, so I will uh, conclude by saying that uh, many of us, when it comes to North Korea, we tend to think of the missile launches or the nuclear issue, but I want all of us to remember that in North Korea, there is a serious, serious uh, violation of human rights going on in that country, and I beseech all of you to continue to show interest and take uh, action regarding the human rights violations going on in North Korea. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.